Hi friends, Grace Rizza here. I hope you're having a great day. If you have been hit by this um, Google warning of your Google business listing and you've had to go through this appeal process again, I'm very sorry that this happened to you. Um, first thing I wanna say is a lot of people have successfully reinstated their listing and everything is up and running um, just fine. Others have gone the route of getting a DBA, doing business as first so they can use keyword integration. Um, that was from yesterday's uh, video that I sent out. And others have sent out um, their appeal process, but they've gotten rejected. This video is specifically for those of you who have gone through the appeal process and have gotten rejected. Um, first thing, don't panic. A lot of the reason this is happening is Google is a data company. They want to get all of the information they can because they make a lot of money that way. So don't panic. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about what the next step is if your appeal got rejected, how to get back on good terms with Google. And please know this is the first time we've encountered this. So we are creating new processes and we're going into uncharted territory. So if you feel like it's a little bit... Uh, hectic. It certainly is because we've got to deal with these things as they happen. So um, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to walk you through the process of re, um, I guess, reclaiming your listing. And then from there, Google's going to make you go through some, jump through some hoops to prove that you are the owner of this business listing. And then from there, you can add us as managers. And that way we can make sure to keep the profile up to date and to be posting to it like we do for SEO and all that good stuff. So here I go. I'm going to share my screen. Um, I'm just looking Dennis near me, but what you're going to do is actually put in your business name here. So you're going to put in your business name. You're going to scroll to your listing. You're going to click on it. So it pops up like this. Do this on a desktop. It's just easier to do this on desktop. Um, and then if you scroll over to your listing, you're going to see a link that says own this business. You're going to click this link and it's going to tell you, it's going to give you a little hint as to who currently manages or owns the profile. And you are then going to click on request access. After you click this, you're going to choose owner. Now I want you to be the owner of the listing. I don't want us to be the owner. We're going to be management of the listing but you're going to be the owner. And this is important because if anything like this happens in the future, you're going to have a lot easier of a time um, claiming, optimizing, responding to reviews, all those things. So you'll click ownership. You are going to click owner again. You're going to put your name here first and last, and you're going to put your cell phone number here and let the owner of this business profile see my public information and email address. And this will all have your information on it. You're gonna click this button. You're gonna hit submit. Let's see. You guys are all gonna get my cell phone number in this video. You're gonna hit submit. Oh no, I actually did it. They're not gonna love that. Um, you're gonna hit submit and then you're gonna hit done. <laughs> I meant to not go all the way through with it. Um, you're going to hit done. So I'm going to cancel the process here. They might, after this, after you hit submit, Google's going to email you and they're going to want you to provide proof that you're the owner of this business. They might send you a postcard. They might even want you to take a video inside of your dental office so they could see that you're actually where you say that you are. And from there, they're going to, um, just make you jump through hoops to prove. Once you get access to that listing, you're gonna go back to it the same way. You're gonna type in your business name on Google. You're gonna go down to the listing and now you're gonna get a management dashboard. And from there, you pro the appeal process will probably be gone because you've re-verified the listing. If it's still there, don't worry, we'll continue to guide you in this process. Um, and then you're gonna add us as managers and we're going to send you instructions step by step written instructions on how to add us as managers after you get through the re-verification process so please don't panic if your appeal was rejected don't worry claim your listing and then from there we'll take it from there and we'll help you with it so um reach out to us if you have questions hopefully this solves the temporary obstacle of getting your listing back in good standing 
and we'll move forward. Now, if your listing was verified under a different business name, like an alias name or a keyword heavy name or whatever it may be, you might have to remove those keywords, verify it in the legal business name, prove that it's the legal business name, go get a DBA if you want the benefit for SEO, and then we'll update that listing later once you have like formal, um, I guess, permission to use that business name. So anyways, um, call us if you need us, text us if you need us, we're here for you. And I hope this is helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.